we need to go and look at the word piety and holiness. And we need to actually come and understand that it is something that is holistic. It is, it is a full picture. It's not just one compartment of it. You know, I cannot say this is a lovely car just because the wheels are beautiful and the tires are, are the latest. No, I need to look at the engine. I need to look at the body. I need to look at the upholstery. I need to look at how it moves. And I need to look at the tires and I need to look at everything else. And then I can say this is a really nice motor vehicle. The same applies to a human being. You don't just look at someone who prays five times a day and you say, you know what? That's a good person. Look at their tongue. Look at the way they treat their family members. More and more people who happen to pray five times a day are abusing their family members, their children, their parents, their in-laws, etc. And they, they cheat, they deceive. In business, they are sometimes dishonest. But just because they look Islamic and just because they pray five times a day, people say, that's a holy man, that's a pious lady. That's not true. Piety is only known by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah alone knows who is pious. And if you were to travel with someone, you may get to know them a little bit more. Because that's what we are taught. Umar ibn Khattab anhu says this. When you travel with a person, you actually get to know them because you see their habits. Do they clean up after themselves? Are they considerate of other people? Do they just leave a mess? Are they selfish? I remember I once traveled with a group of honorable men. <laughs> may Allah forgive us. And when we got to the destination, those whom I looked at as really pious people, they were the ones scrambling for the best place to sleep. The best place. You know, we were, we were going to be there for a few days and there were mattresses on the floor. And I've seen this happening even in Hajj, where we're so selfish, we look for ourselves. That's my place. Put your thing there and everything. Anyone comes there, an elderly man is coming and you know that that corner would be better for someone who's disabled. No, it's my place. Well, thank you. It was really true that I would get to know people only when I travel with them. Look at how selfish you are thinking about yourself. That's it. We think about us, our little corner. We're not considerate of anyone. Food comes, you eat first. You take the hot food and you're the one who munches away and you leave all the leftovers for everyone else. Is that what you are taught? Is that what it's all about? Is this what relationships are all about? That's not it. Be considerate, feed others. Even if it means you have delayed a little bit, so what? Be considerate. And if you don't want to feed them, at least sit with everyone else. Don't be greedy. Don't show that you're a selfish person because you should not be a selfish person.